Hey, it's Chris from Holden, and today we have our hands on the new Atomos Sumo 19 SE, which is an all-in-one production monitor, recorder, and switcher. And of course, this is the new unit here. Now, Atomos have injected some new life into the Sumo 19, which, believe it or not, came to the market around about five years ago now. So this SE model is now the direct replacement. So let's take a look to see what's new. So first things first, the Sumo 19 SE is still of course built around a 19 inch panel, but it does have a welcome upgrade. It now uses a Super Atom IPS touchscreen panel that covers the DCI P3 color space, making this version of the Sumo 19 much more suitable for HDR workflows compared to the original, as the original was really limited to Rec 709. And when you see this unit up in the flesh, that new panel really does stand out, especially if you're used to the original Sumo 19. It really is a nice upgrade. It's an 8 plus 2 FRC panel that has a peak brightness of 1200 nits, providing you with a clear view regardless of the lighting conditions on set or on location. It's daylight viewable. It can display up to 10 stops of dynamic range and has built-in LUTs for pretty much any camera that you can think of, along with the ability of being able to load in your own. And of course, with this being an Atomos panel, it is user calibrated, so you can make sure that it constantly performs day in and day out. There's all the professional monitoring tools that you would expect to find on an Atomos unit with the Sumo 19 SE, such as waveform, false colour, focus assist, frame guides to name but a few. Really to give you confidence that you've nailed your exposure, your focus, colour balance and composition. The Sumo 19 SE comes with several power options, including AC mains power, dedicated battery XLR inputs, and it also includes the bat wing so that you can mount V or gold mount battery plates to have a nice, clean and lean mobile monitoring solution. On the rear, there's 12 GSDI and HDMI 2.0 inputs to get your signal into the monitor. And when it comes to recording, you can record all the way up to 6K 30p in ProRes RAW, but you do also have the various flavors of ProRex and DNX HD. Now, if you're recording in the latter, then you'll top out at 4K60. There is also Cinema DNG on hand too for uncompressed RAW. Now, just like the previous Sumo 19, recordings are stored to an SSD inserted into the side of the device. Now, the SE will also cross-convert that incoming signal too, with options for downscaling if required, which is quite a neat trick to have, especially when you're on set. So HDMI into SDI and 4K to HD, and of course vice versa. When it comes to live switching, the Sumo 19 SE can handle up to four HD sources, and the touch panel does make live switching between them very simple. It's just as easy as tapping on the shot that you want to make live. Now, all of the inputs are synced internally on the Sumo, so there's no need to lock the incoming video signals externally, so that does make for a nice and quick, easy setup. And not only can you record the switched program, but you can also record the four ISO feeds, so the four inputs coming into the unit as well. So all in all, you can record up to five channels in the likes of 10-bit ProRes. And of course, that program can be output via the HDMI or SDI, so you can feed it wherever else you need to. There are several mounting options for the Sumo 19 SE. There are two feet which are supplied with the monitor which allow the Sumo to stand on a flat surface, but there's also a visa mount on the back allowing you to mount the monitor on a whole range of accessories such as this innovative axis stand and monitor mount that we have here. Now when it comes to audio, it supports embedded over HDMI and SDI, but there are also two full-size XLR audio inputs which can both provide 48 volts of phantom power so you can use nice professional microphones. And in the menu, there's gain control, metering, and delay adjustments for each channel. Now the delay adjustments are super important for when you're doing the live switching. Now all in all, the Sumo 19 SE is a hard-wearing production monitor that should really feel at home on location or in the studio. The Sumo 19, the original that is, ticked a lot of boxes, hardy, very good value for money, and excellent I.O., but the compromise of what was a rather lackluster screen, and I'm sure Atomos won't mind me saying that now, especially considering we've got this nice new model. So it's really nice to see that Atomos not reinventing the wheel, and instead finessing the Sumo by fixing that one element that was a little bit of a common bugbear, 
So this unit is the same price and it's now a very capable and incredibly competitive production monitor. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, hit that like button. If you want to find out some more information, there's some links in the description or of course you can go on the Holden website. If you've got any questions, do just leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thank you very much for watching.